In this video, I'll be explaining the best ways to make money from your nightclub in GTA Online. There are a few changes that have happened since the Criminal Enterprises DLC released in July 2022. Understanding exactly how the various ways to make money works can be a little complicated, so I'll try my best to make it as easy as possible to understand. The nightclub is one of the best ways to make easy money and I'm sure at least some of you will be shocked to learn exactly how good it is now. Before we start, don't forget to drop this video a like. So without further ado, let's get to it. Just another day in the office. Before the various updates and buffs to the nightclub, I would have only recommended buying a nightclub if you had previously purchased a CEO crate warehouse and or hangar, a bunker, an MC coke lockup, a counterfeit cash factory and a meth lab. But that's now not the case. You can make great money back without having any of those running. So let's look at setting up your nightclub and how much it will cost. The cheapest nightclub starts at just over a million and the most expensive one starts at 1.7 million. Ideally, you want one around the city centre as that is where the majority of the missions you are likely to complete will be. It's also good to have easy access to a main road, but ultimately you may only need to use your nightclub sporadically, so it's not totally necessary if you don't want to spend a bit of extra money on one of the best locations. When buying, all of the options here are purely cosmetic and will have no bearing on the amount of money you will make with the exception of the storage, which is where your product will be stored once it has been sourced. So make sure you buy the maximum capacity if you have the five businesses I mentioned earlier. If you do not own any of these yet, you can skip this edition for now. You can buy a floor or two if you have two or more of the other businesses. I'll expand on this later in the video. Buying all four floors of extra storage will cost you just over 1.7 million. Once you've bought it, you will need to add some additional upgrades. If you don't have any of the other businesses I mentioned previously, you can just buy the staff upgrade for 475,000. This will help you maximize your daily income from the nightclub. You'll also want to buy the security upgrade for 695,000, which will decrease the likelihood of the nightclub being attacked by enemies, affecting your popularity and stock and therefore profit. So to start off with, you're looking at at least 2.25 million to get going. We have a new landlord. You then need to collect your staff and the equipment, which shouldn't take more than 10 minutes in total. Once your club has been set up, you now need to source yourself a DJ. This will be a simple little mission with some cutscenes. Once your DJ has been acquired, the popularity of your club will be maxed out. With maximum popularity, you will make $100,000 for the first 96 minutes, which is equivalent to two in-game days. After this period, the popularity will drop by half a bar where the income will then decrease to $45,000 for the next 48 minutes. From then on, the income will drop dramatically starting at just $25,000 and then down by $1,000 for each quarter of the popularity that declines. This graph shows how much you'll be making for each bar of popularity. If you have no popularity at all, your club will only make $1,500 every 48 minutes. There are a few ways to keep your popularity high enough to earn good money. Each time you acquire a new DJ for the first time, it will cost you $100,000, but this will max out the popularity bar. There are four DJs in total, all of which play awful music. Which is why I turn the music volume off and play my own. Once you have acquired the DJs, you can then change them over at a cost of $10,000 a time. This will increase your popularity by half a bar. Another way of increasing your popularity is by doing little side jobs by accessing the promote club option from your computer. Okay, my friend, you want a popular club? You gotta know how to charm. A compliment here, a free bottle there, and there, and there. It's way more free bottles and compliments, which is why you're gonna get me a shipment of champagne. These are very tedious and boring, but don't take too long to complete, with each one filling at least one bar of popularity. One of the best ways to boost popularity is by seeking out the little blue dots or the man symbol inside the club. The blue dot represents a troublemaker that needs throwing out. 
and the blue man icon will be a VIP that you need to prevent from dying. Oh, I just did some asking around, and this guy is the sustainability manager and environmental consultant for Globe Oil. Do you have any idea how wealthy and sadistic those kind of people are? So yeah, please don't let him die. Each completion of the task will give you one bar of popularity back. The best way to run this part of the nightclub is to maximize your popularity and then come back after 192 in-game minutes, which is equivalent to 3 hours and 12 minutes. After that period, you will have made $175,000, which can be collected from your safe. You can then just replace your DJ for 10k or do one of the blue icon missions from inside the nightclub. And your popularity is back to full strength again. Look at it like just paying 10k or doing a short, easy task which will net you a total profit of 160,000. You just need to be patient. In that time, you are free to go and make more money elsewhere while your safe fills up again. Now please just go! Ah, okay. I... The safe's capacity is $255,000, so any money made after that cap will be lost, so be sure to empty it out on a regular basis. Before the buffs to the nightclub, the safe's capacity was only $70,000 and you'd only make $10,000 for every 48 minutes at maximum popularity. So in essence, the nightclub is now 5 times better in regards to how much money you can actually make. Another benefit of the security upgrade that you should have purchased is the security cameras, which you can view and go AFK without being kicked from the lobby. Ideal for if you just want to stay in the game for your businesses to make money while you go off and do real life things, like work or school or watching all of my other amazing videos and leaving a like. GTA series videos suggest not even buying a security upgrade because they reckon you won't get raided unless you are registered as a CEO or biker. This is true, but you're not always able to quit or disband before a raid will start. And if you're like me, you're most likely a biker or CO most of the time, so you can complete other tasks in the game, or to simply call in your oppressor quicker. So if you are going AFK in the cameras, make sure you have disbanded before you disappear. This brings me onto the other side of the nightclub, you can have up to 5 warehouse technicians, but there are 7 types of product that they can produce. They are cargo and shipments, sporting goods, South American imports, pharmaceutical research, organic product, printing and copying, and cash creation. Each of these is linked to a different business in the game. So in order to produce cargo and shipments, you need to have purchased either a CEO office and crate warehouse, or a hangar. A hangar will start from 1.2 million. A CEO office plus any crate warehouse will set you back a minimum of 1.25 million. Sporting goods is the bunker, with the cheapest at just over a million. I have done a comprehensive guide on the bunker business since the update, so I highly recommend watching that first before deciding what bunker you should get. South American Imports is the coat lockup, and they start at 975,000. Pharmaceutical Research is the meth lab, which starts at 910,000. Cash creation is the counterfeit cash factory, which starts at 845,000. Then there is the organic produce and printing and copying, which is the weed farm and the document forgery business, respectively. Do not concern yourself with the weed or the document forgery, as they are the two businesses here that will net you the least amount of money. Do not listen to stuttering dumbasses who will tell you the document forgery business is a good investment. A uh, 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 one a uh, 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 high but um, uh, still, but um, um, document forgery is worth selling now, guys. It must be said that in order to buy any of the biker businesses, you will first need to purchase an MC Clubhouse, and they start at $250,000. If you bought the cheapest of the five businesses, it would cost a total of just over 5 million. But this base price can easily more than double if you went for the higher price options and fitted them with extra upgrades, so do bear that in mind. It's important to note that you do not need to upgrade any of the businesses I just mentioned in order for your nightclub technicians to source the product here. So if you're not planning on running any of them as a business outside of the nightclub, only ever buy the cheapest you need. That said, you will get a slight increase in your takings if you are actively using any of the other businesses. 
For example, the South American imports, which is the Coke business, will have a cap of 10 crates, which will sell for $200,000. However, if you are actively running this business and have stock in it, that will stretch to $270,000. You can just choose to have a bit of product sitting in the business and never sell it if you didn't want to, just to keep your profits in the nightclub at a maximum. You should, however, invest in the equipment upgrade for just over 1.4 million. This will increase the speed at which your goods are sourced, which is vital as the process is very slow to begin with. To maximize your productivity and income, you should assign all five of your technicians to source the South American imports, sporting goods, cargo and shipments, pharmaceutical research, and cash creation. As you can see here, these are the top five for making the most money in the shortest amount of time. Feel free to pause this video to see the breakdown. To maximize your selling potential, you should sell when your South American imports have been maxed out with its 10 crates. This is also the same time that the pharmaceutical research and the cash creation have also hit their maximum capacity. Selling now will clear the way to start making more of these for the next sale. Otherwise, the time passed after hitting their cap, the nightclub is only producing cargo and shipments and sporting goods, rather than all five at the same time. This will take a total of 20 hours of in-game time and will sell for around 1 million. You may get a special delivery option available to you. These are specially selected items that can be sold for a small bonus. For example, two crash creation crates, two South American import crates and nine cargo shipment crates would normally sell for a total of 137,000. But I could sell this one here for over 161,000 instead. The larger the order, the larger the bonus. It's possible to fill up your nightclub warehouse faster and also source crates you wouldn't normally have if you didn't buy all the relevant businesses. One way, which is new since the Criminal Enterprises DLC, is to call Johan and ask him to find you a crate, decided at random, which you can then go and pick up. Hey boss, what can I do for you? Cool, totally, let me see what we have. Yeah, this should work. I've got my eyes on a shipment of cargo coming through the docks right now. It's on a tugboat. Minimal security. Couldn't be simpler. Just get it back to the club. After delivering the crate, there is a 20 minute cooldown before you can request another one. Johan Blair speaking. Oh, hey, boss. Cool, no worries. Another way of stocking your nightclub faster is by completing business battles in free mode lobbies. There are many variations, but one of the best is by delivering a specific vehicle as it is the equivalent of two crates rather than just one. However, I only recommend doing these if you have a spare few minutes. As for the selling missions, depending on how many crates you are selling will depend on what vehicle you will be using. For anything up to 89 crates, you will be using a Speedo Custom, 90 to 179 crates and it will be the Mule Custom, and anything else above that will mean the Pounder Custom. You can choose to upgrade these vehicles with armor and weapons, which are a nice addition, especially if you plan to sell in public lobbies for the bonus. But these upgrades are not cheap. The Speedo Custom comes with the nightclub, but the Mule Custom and the Pounder Custom will need to be purchased separately from the Warstock Cash and Carry. The Mule starts at 72,000 and the Pounder starts at 241,000, but upgrading them fully will add much more onto that amount. Obviously, if you do not have the vehicles big enough to shift the crates, you will be limited on how much you can sell at any one time. The good part of this is that every single selling mission will only ever be one vehicle, unlike the bunker, CEO crates or the biker businesses where you will have multiple. This means it's more likely to be a successful sale when selling in a public lobby, unlike the other selling missions. Selling in a public lobby will now pay more since the update, with a bonus of 2% for every person in the session. So let's say you sold $1 million worth of stock and there were 29 other people in the lobby. You then receive a massive bonus of $580,000. Oh. 
With multiple vehicles, especially if you ended up selling as a solo player, this was not worth the risk, but only delivering one vehicle now makes it all worthwhile. But you will still occasionally come across the Mark II grief for arseholes. If, for whatever reason, your stock does get destroyed, you can simply load into another lobby and start the selling mission all over again. But you will have lost a sizable amount of your original stock. The selling missions are very easy, and one in particular will only take a matter of minutes. Other selling missions may see you go to three locations and make drop-offs there, usually pursued by some attackers. Every successful sale will see Tony take a sizable cut for some reason. Great, okay, looks like you're done here. I will fiddle the accounts and send you the money. Just another day in the life of nightclub maven, Tony Prince. LGT with some urgent business. The nightclub should be looked at as a long-term investment. I've made almost 150 million from it without really even trying. And now with the increase in payments can make much, much more. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.